The following is a fan-based parody. The voices in this video were created by AI tools and do not represent the real-life figures of said voices. Opinions and topics discussed by the characters in question are written purely as satire and do not reflect their real-life counterparts' opinions or the writer's opinion on the matter. The purpose of this video is purely for entertainment. Thanks to all channel members and donators. Your support makes these videos possible. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special playthrough of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Today I have with me my two great friends, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. What's up, boys? Good evening, boyos. What's good with it? yo e yo -e, coming back from the dead, it's your boy, Joey McFroey. We are going to be attempting a standard randomized Nuzlocke of this game. The first Pokemon of each route or new area can be attempted to be caught. If a Pokemon faints, it dies permanently, and we must nickname all of the creatures we catch on our journey. Items are randomized in shops and the overworld, and enemy trainers also use random teams. Move sets and stats aren't changed, as this game already utilizes them in a unique way, which we will soon find out. Finally, we can only use fused Pokemon throughout our adventure. We can disassemble and create new amalgamations. But if a Pokemon dies, we lose both monsters that are a part of that fusion. Unless we wipe out against a Daddy Swalot, otherwise it's a dub using the alternate win condition. Joe, stop that now. Come on, man. Let's change our settings and make a save file here. There it is. The one and only Bush feature in this whole series, and this time it's deleting his quote, Bushy Wushy save file playing as the girl protagonist. Off to a magnificent magnitude 10 start, I see. Calm down, Donnie. I had Bush test the game to make sure it ran properly, so all three of us could go into it blindly. Battle style is on set because we ain't no per ugly pussies, and what border would you guys like? It's still hashtag free blocky on these twittery skies, Barack. Ooh, the Altaria one still got me feeling all bubbly and despicable inside. Okay, because of that comment and the fact we used your suggestion last playthrough, Joe, I'm gonna side with Donald on this one. The game also has a handy option for level caps, which we are going to use so we can't overpower the opponent with just our level difference. Sounds good to me. What a handy dandy feature in DD. I'm getting bored, fellas, no offense. This game's customization features mid as hell. They're putting me to sleep here. Wow, shocker. All right, what age do we want our character to be? Oh, never mind. Uh, game of the freaking year. Goddamn. Put that shit into the negative digits, baby. <sighs> All right, I'm just going to leave it at 13. I'm not even sure why it's an option here, honestly. I'll call us USA again since this is GP6's official season two on the channel. We finished the application form, so let's submit this sucker and begin our adventure. Yippity, let the journey begin. Oh, fantastic. Which one of you idiots turned off ad blocker, huh? Three minutes into a YouTube video, and now I gotta hear about a crappy 94% discounted VPN. No, Joseph, the game is showing us the DNA splicers, a powerful tool used to fuse and defuse two Pokemon of your choice. Wowzer Mac Bowser, we should get one to use on you, Barack, so we can separate that shitty skill issue side from your busted elite Pokemon Brainiac side. Or on yourself to separate all that fat from my friend, Donald. God, it is so good to be Barack with you too. What have you guys been up to so far in 2024? Well, I've gotten back into slinging that crystal like it's 2001, baby. This dude CJ and I have been sky dropping cocaina on the regular now, usually every Thursday at noon. We record the whole thing and put it on his channel. You should check it out. I think you two would be very compatible with him. Hey, yo, pause. It's a no pause zone this time around, fellas. I've actually gone and picked up a new hobby of collecting clovers. Wandering through the Moo Moo meadows of the U.S. countryside makes you realize it's beautiful and yet horrifying wildlife. Pretty sure I saw this shit smearing bear drag its literal ass down a spiraling mountainside. Once I locked eyes with it, I tried running away more than a mastiff holding a smoke ball. Real quick, any of you got a name for our rival? If we are the U.S., call him the world. This is our journey to show why we are the most powerful nation on the planet. OMG, Vape Nation mentioned, rise up, we in this. How many gangs are you a part of now, Joe? Any who, anything else you two have been getting up to? Actually, I started playing this game called Pal World. I think it's a Digimon ripoff. Can you believe that? Regardless, the gameplay is best in the biz, but the monsters are uglier than Donald's kids. 
Your daughter literally looks like a freaking fish. Whisk Ashley, Rick Ashley, rolling looking bitch. You're only hating because she rejected you on Valentine's Day. I don't want to hear it, you Shieldbert looking ass. Back to my story. Theoretically, if we ever rank these pals, I want you to know I wouldn't go near any of them or even imagine doing something sinister with them, especially the chicken. Oh, thank God he won't be getting choked today. The Delmise dementia is coming back already. You love to see it. All right, it's starter time. What the fuck am I looking at? That's not Squirtle. Hey, it's got Barack in the name. Horrifying, no doubt, but at least it's not cursed. I don't feel safe. Tell me it's a bad dream, please. Don't piss your pants, Sage, on this last one, Joe. It's the God Duck. Oh, oh, the prophecies foretold of this legend. We must select the mighty, strong, wucky, cucky, almighty ducky. So we have a fusion of Ambipom and Spinarak, another of Gengar and Maril, and finally, is it Golurk and Gold Duck? You must pick the God Duck. We shall never fail with the God Duck. Yart, Yart! Jiminy Cricket on a keister bun. Joe, I picked him okay. I'll name him God Duck in your stupid punctuation, but you owe me a nickname when you're playing. Also, never make that sound again. It's Golem, Barack. You can tell by the rocky textures, which is like his outer shell. Having a rock water or groundwater type should be pretty good coverage, I think. Have you two been studying this game? Because I'm completely lost on what you're both talking about. What are you confused about, Joe? I don't know about Donald, but I only know the concept behind this game. I don't have a clue about anything beyond that. I'm in the same boat. I only know about the game's gimmick, but not much else. Are you realizing the same thing I am, Barack? God damn it. Because of the combination of moves we have, we actually cannot hurt ghost types at all. Thank God this battle doesn't count since we don't have Pokeballs yet. That would have ended the run faster than Donald attempting a real life run. I could still speed blitz you two like an electrode. You erect chodes. And now he's gone back to his racist days by pronouncing Pokemon names like a Chinese guy. I don't know which L is bigger right now, the one on the screen or Donald's entire life up until this point. Savor this moment, everybody, because we won't be losing our team ever again. Wallace isn't in this game, is he? To my knowledge, he shouldn't be, Joe. There's no need to worry. He won't be annihilating us like an ape this time around. Thank God, because that was embarrassing when you lost your whole team to him last run, Donald. I feel secure now. It's okay to feel like that, Joe. You didn't actually play too badly in that fight. It's just hold the fucking froaky nose balls. I didn't lose against him. You did, you gray ninja tongue gagger. Please stop shouting at me. <laughs> Not you too, Barack. I'm sorry for enslaving your entire race back in the day. It was just a funny ha-ha kind of moment. Forgive me. Wait, Joe, I'm putting aside your froggy fetish for now. Barack, are you okay? All right, never mind. He's all good. I didn't think the slave trend would catch on. Sorry. Go Menasai Barack. Ah, God, I'm so sorry, boys. I don't know what demon took over me there, but I'm back and we should be good to go again. I know I'm a bit behind on the mainline series games, but when exactly did this one come out? Or is this always how red and blue looked? And why are the Pokemans all kinds of messed up? You cannot be serious, Sleepy Joe. This is Infinite Fusion, a fan game created by a whole load of dedicated artists and talented bunch where the main gimmick is being able to fuse any two Pokemon together. Have you not been paying attention up until now? You even commented on Golem and Gold Duck combining into the God Duck. I just thought that's how the God Duck always looked. Who is this Gold Duck fella you're referring to? How can your nature always be naive, you looper of a whooper? Look on the screen right now, Joe. Don't you see the Frost Lass and Blaziken merge together into one being? Isn't that strange to you? I agree, Barack. This Blaziken does have a nice frosty ass. I'm a lick it later. She kind of bad, though. Is that Frost? I'm just trying to figure out why this hacker decided to teach it Powder Snow. Why can't they just play the game normally like the rest of us? Joe, you don't understand. They're regular NPCs. You know what? If his head cannon is that they're all hackers, let it be Barack. Whatever way he wants to interpret the game doesn't matter to us in the end. Let him off the hook. What do you say? <laughs> oh, sweet. Thanks for your forgiveness, Father Baraki Waki. Show this Super Saiyan 3 Mr. Popo looking ass who's boss. <laughs> You're sounding extra normal today, Obama. I'm going to start calling you Blissy at this rate. Ain't nothing better than a thick, creamy, Caucasian Blissy at the weekend. You don't tick all those boxes quite yet, Barack. But one day, you G-Max assholes. I'm clearly going through something right now. 
and so is God duck. Confusion, or as Joe calls it, puberty. Is the God duck gay? Huge dub if true. We gotta go collect Grandpappy's package. Then we can finally start our journey with Pokeballs in hand. I wonder if my manipulation skills have gotten rusty. You're a woman. I'm not surprised you're the one taking the professor's parcel, Barack. Seems like a field you'd have some experience in. We've been through this, Donald. He has lots of experience in fields. He literally works for Farmer Wilkins on the daily. I'm not too sure about that one, Joe. It's hard to say I work for a guy who I slammed down the guillotine called Kingler on last week. You did? Oh, sevens for the last real slave owner. Damn it. Finally, let's get this show on the road. Grass folks balls with mighty force as our Nuzlocke adventure officially begins. I know I can only speak Braille fluently, but I'm pretty sure balls don't go into the berries pocket portion of our bag. Is there a new Rost ball or something added to this game that we weren't aware of? Well, this is about as problematic as a Porygon. We cannot even catch anything yet. I guess we gotta go to the Mart and actually buy our first set of Pokeballs. Bit annoying, but we make do with what we have. Check the Pokedex real quick to see how many monsters are in this game. That Frostikin was number 131094. I bet there's at least 220,000 goons in this. And what is this menu? It seems you can change the sprite of your fusion if there are multiple available. Why the hell is that the sickest feature I have possibly ever seen? I agree, Donald. The customizability goes nutty, apparently. There seems to be a variation of the God Duck Joe. Would you like me to change the sprite to this? That's his stupid older brother, Kevin. Don't switch to that loser. There's actually lore to this thing? God has a brother? Oh, sweet. My Jirachi plush has finally arrived in game. Wait a second. That's not a marketable plush. Did you just get handed a Ludicolo X Latios fusion? Ain't no way. Call him DoorDash or Taco Bell. You owe me enough nicknames as it is, Joe Cephalon. Don't be so culturally inappropriate. I'm gonna call him Fly Amigo because I bet he's a really cool dude to hang out with. Guys, what the F? And they call me the Raggedy Racist. Let's check out his stats. He should be decently strong. It's a hee hee, Waluigi. So we pulled two legendaries at once? The power scaling since Sapphire has gotten out of control, I see. Why are they giving us this much firepower so early? Stay cautious, boys, this is a sign! It's called Luck Obama, stop your Wimpod whining. How do stats work when Pokemon are combined or have sex or whatever this gimmick is? Ah, uh, yes, Pokemon sex, that's what we are playing, Sleepy Joe. That, I'm not too sure of Joe. As I said, all of us are playing through this blind. If I had to guess, I'm sure it's got something to do with which Pokemon you fuse first. Or maybe it's based on the average of your stats combined and halved. I don't really know. We will figure it out soon enough. Hey, look, the Jold Amber. We can use that to revive the Aerodactyl asshole who's in this very Discord call. I would say Barack is more so built like a big black Bastiodon, his favorite hub category also. Besides, we aren't allowed to use revives in a Nuzlocke, you idiot. Hush, Joe, I'm trying to remember which way to go. So this game is another freaking remaster of Gen 1. I'm all for sucking off Masuda's Ultra Balls until they go red and blue. But isn't this the eighth remake or something? It's a fan game, Joe, massive difference. You already know it's going to be much higher quality than anything Game Freak has ever released. This game's region is based off of Kanto as much as Donald is based off of a human. There's similarities, but one of these things is not like the other. Hypno in Japanese literally translates to Barack Kidnapper Obama. Go back to chasing young ones around the Sevi Islands with Jeffrey. You babushka, buffalant, butt muncher. Rumor has it you were a smooth criminal in the berry forest, Barack. You don't believe those stories, do you? I was genuinely asking Annie, was she okay? I didn't mean to hit her so hard, I was aiming for her mother. Excuse me? You were asking why some of the Pokemon look strange earlier, Joe. That's because the default fuse sprite is based on an AI fusion generator program. The designs that look proper and higher quality are from community sprite artists who have designed the fusion to be based off of the original combined look or typically a reference to other media in pop culture. This game is made with AI. Boycott this shit. It's lazy and hurtful to the environment. As we make our way into the Viridian Forest, I want to talk about how we're going to be handling the comment question for each episode in this series. I wonder is the bench where I first hit it still around in the forest? Just get the A-palms to give you tail jobs atop the trees. You're not left with the same guilt as leaving a pokey hoe to die in the woods. Let me write that down. Take it away, Barack. 
This season, we will be trying something a little different. This time around, we will be asking two comment questions per video, but we want you guys, the viewers, to ask them. This may or may not work. We will trial it for a few episodes. Please be patient with our Empoleon eating editor while he figures it out. It's simpler than a bee doof, really. All you gotta do is leave a Pokemon comment question that you would like the three of us to answer in the comment section down below. That's the first question we will be answering. The second will be a question asked by any donators. This will significantly increase the chance of your question being answered, as well as being a great time to acknowledge those who financially support the channel. Of course, your comment will still be featured on the disclaimer screen too. So if you wanna leave your mark on the series and be forever featured in another 10 plus hour feature film, now's your chance. Just don't be that guy who gains a weekly comment streak saying day 844 of wondering what measurements Barack Sandaconda is. Joe and I agree that it's not that impressive. You've got bigger tits than a Jinx Donald. I don't wanna hear it. Very weird of you to sexualize your sister like that Barack. As you know, times are tough and the price of creating a series like this has dramatically increased because of a few new production hurdles that have popped up. The main cost is the fact that Joe is actually getting paid this time around. Wait, I am? I thought signing that contract for three million Irish Euro dollar monies per episode was a joke. We wish it was to Mr. Mac Blowy, but alas, here we are, viewers, if you are so generous as to donate, the best place to do so is on our Buy Me A Coffee page, which can be found in the description of all of GP's videos. Even if you donate $1, you will have just as much of a chance of getting your comment question answered as someone who donates a bajillion or whatever. YouTube donations are appreciated too, but there's a minimum spend and the cut is like almost 50-50, so the Buy Me A Coffee page is definitely the preferred method. I noticed that the page says socks instead of coffee, boys. Why is that? What's in the socks? Oh, thank God. That's one joke I'm glad we've dropped since last season. Absolutely nothing, Joey. There's nothing in the socks. They're somehow emptier than the Paldea region. That's perfect. I can start filling them up with my bubbly purply calm. Okay, Joe, I think we've heard enough out of you. Fly Amigo just learned Dragon Dance, which is absurdly broken this early on, and the God Duck is learning Magnitude. I think we can unanimously agree that is better than tackle. I thought magnitude was Donald's signature move. I think I see where this is going, you root fossil looking ass, but go on, why did you think that? Because every time you step into a room, you end up using it. Screw you, you sand slash sucker. Guys, pay attention. I'm trying to figure out how level up moves and stats work, but you two are here talking about natural disasters and sucking off a scaly anteater. Just behave, will you? Oh, I'll behave for you, Barry. Joe's sussiness aside, you seem to be kicking ass in this place, Barack. Great job, Oomphy. Thanks, Donnie, but speaking of kicking booty, can I just ask, fellas, we keep it down on the, how do you call it, funky, chunky, butt-sniffing, stunky stuff? I know it creeps some of the viewers out. No more gay talk, gotcha, Barack. No, that's still fair game. I mean, literally talking about shoving things and widening holes that should never be stretched. It just doesn't get me as riled up as it used to. Understandable, Barack. I won't treat you like Harley from the anime anymore, you cactern cuddler. Wait, that's it? No lore-heavy exhibition dump in the first episode? No foreshadowing or insane revelation to keep the theorists guessing what happens every episode? Nothing? What is there to expand upon Donald? It's just three bros chilling together in a Discord call, playing a pocket monster game. Surely the audience can't expect much more than that. But there are so many unanswered questions. What about Barack's sus redemption arc or where we get our future sight powers from? Joe, what about your rematch against Sukuna's son, Magnus Carlson, to win Joe Mama back? And when will our editor stop posting those Meow Scarata feet pics on his only fans? Are they real? I don't believe you. DM the proof right now. You know what, forget it. Back to the game. Some of these fusions are litty like the gritty boys, don't you think? This Tenabel looks like he would massacre more innocents than the Great Purge, and I'm all for it at this rate. I hate that I'm the one explaining the rules and game mechanics all the time, but as the game goes on, I believe Pokemon will force fully evolve, therefore leading to more custom fusion sprites. A lot of first stage and middle stage evolutions don't have fancy dancy pixel art because they're going to evolve anyway. Does that make sense? Makes about as much sense as Reshiram having more physical attack than Hitmonchan. Apparently these hands are nothing against white supremacy. 
Nice to see you've been studying up on your stat comparisons, Joe. I always thought that was your weakest Pokey Jeopardy category. It's nice to see that they've added some modern day Pokemon to this game to increase the number of badass combinations. Lycanroc definitely has some sick fusions in this, I bet. And I bet you're still above 400 pounds, you Magnazone wannabe. That bide was a risky play, but it was worth it. So our Luigi unit learns Gust. So that should help quite a bit. You beat the first dungeon, Barack. Well done. It took me several weeks to make it through that maze the last time I played Pokemon Blue. It's a straight shot to the exit, no? The path through that place is about as straight as my Wabafet. After seeing the luscious, wet lips of a female Wabafet. So bent to the left slightly at a 28 degree angle pointing west? How do you know the exact coordinates of Joe's big, beefy blue punching bag? You know what? Let's make like an Electabuzz and move swiftly along. We've already made it to Pewter City, guys. Let's hope they have Pokeballs. And if they don't? Well, then Brock can catch the hands from my Reshi Ram rice cracker, Joey McRoey. I've got your back, my Choco Barack Bar. I'm a bit sad we won't see the Brock Pewter, ex Brock Obama, ex Brock Lesnar, hell in a cell match this season. Special item shop. Let's see, what Pokeballs shall we buy? Who the hell traded in my chain? Great, now I'll have to reset the item shop until we get balls. I see you're heading straight to Victory Road with just Fly Amigo and the God Suck Obama. Mad respect, homie, you got this. He's obviously going to fight the optional rival, Joe, so that he can unlock the secret garden area and play the hidden baseball mini game. I'll be the pitcher and throw the enemy a forkball, Barack. Put me in, coach. What the snom are you talking about, Donnie Dozo? And are you not going to comment on the fact that Joe called the god duck the god suck? What difference does it make? If I could skydrop your bodies right now, I hope you both know I would. I love you both outside of the game, but all of a sudden when I'm locked in and leaning forward in my serious gamer pose, you two irritate me more than a double team spammer. Speaking of, I've quickly come to realize Mimic You combined with anything to gain its ability is quite nasty. Imagine a tail glow Manaphy or Swords Dance Yan Mega with the disguise sub. That would be so broken. I'm excited at the possibilities. Are you two hoping for any monsters to appear in this run? Joe just wants a Swalot so he can fuse with it. What he does from there, nobody wants to know. Since when did you learn Mind Reader Donald? Wait, before I answer. This guy is saying that if you talk to trainers, they'll often challenge you to a rematch, trade you one of their Pokemon, or give you an item. My God, this game has some amazing additions. I might bust a Meltan when it's my turn. In terms of Pokemon I want, let me tell you exactly what I don't want first. We already have the best water type in the game with the God Duck. And after our last playthrough, I don't want to see another one again. Are you the new leader of Team Magma, Joey? You can't really start hating on one of the most common No types. fish, no mammals, no wet furry creatures. Whatever the hell Corsola is meant to be, nothing. Jesus, Joe, calm down, my guy. You're tiptoeing the line of discrimination towards that one type. Be careful. Tiptoeing the line? OK, sorry, let me clear it up for the record. To the people. I am a mega racist towards water type Pokemon. IGN was right. Too much water is an understatement. So what types would you like us to have more of? Grass, 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 baby. You say that as if you want to bone all grass types, even if it's not that effective. I don't understand why you want to bang them so badly, Joe. Never mind. I totally get it now. Call me Barack because that thing needs to vine whip me. Now! I wouldn't mind a peek of that grassy ass in the morning. I never thought I'd see the day where I could confidently say a Tangrowth Sprite looks cute. But here we are. Back to the topic, Donnie. Who would you like to see us capture throughout this run? I'm mainly on the lookout for the metagame powerhouses throughout the years. If we could get another Slack King, we should be able to overwrite its ability and give it some sick secondary typing. What about a pure power Breloom or speed boost Salamence? The combinations are seemingly endless. Just like the number that shows up when you step on a scales. Don't bother fat shaming Donald this time around Joe. Rumor has it he's in the midst of fixing it. You can't fix an entire planet slash blubber slash Kirby sized guy like Donald over the course of a playthrough. The series is about to end anyway. Go ahead and sweep the Elite Four and put this game to resto. No chesto. How very insightful of you, Joe. But you won't be the one laughing when I'm 200 pounds lighter and whopping your brittle old Brie on ass from Alola all the way around to Kalos. Maybe you should try and find a way to make yourself more enjoyable to be around before this series ends. Stop it now, you two. Come on.
This game is not exactly a walk in the park from what I've heard, and the fact we all know little to nothing about it definitely doesn't help. I've got a dragon dance up just for the speed boost, and this time around, we've got moves to hit that cursed looking general in the back. I'm presuming fused Pokemon evolve alongside both evolution chains, right? So at level 18, our rival, Zawarudo, will have a fully evolved starter. Yikes! Quick question. Does General have Gengar or Maril's genitals after fusing? Following up that statement, does it still grow a dick from the dickic shop if it evolves into a Genzumaril? I believe fusions are genderless or gender neutral. I'm sure it would have made breeding more complicated. You're telling me this game is pronoun appropriate by respecting each fusion's identity? God, I'm hornier than a great tusk. Baby! Just assimilate this creepy pasta inherited nightmare with the god duck Barack. I can't bear to look at its speed-lowering scary face any longer. Trust me, Joe, I'm trying here. But somehow he's managed to land two hypnosis while living on one HP. Time to let this god cast his judgment. I'm just saying, Kevin wouldn't have let you down in this fight, Barack. Don't even go there. Do it, Ducky Chucky. Apparently, the Joe X God Duck Bond runs deep. What is your connection to this thing, Peepinator? It goes back to my homeboy and possible son, Jesus Q. Christ. Shortly after he respawned and delivered all the Easter eggs around the world, he put his hand on my shoulder and said this, One day you shall find true salvation. People ask me how I was walking on water, but really I was just using surf with my God Duck. You will experience that joy one day, you impressively massive sinner. That all checks out, but what in your son's name did you do that was so horrendous back then, Joe? Mainly tax evasion. Way before you made it cool, Donald. We seem to be getting a lot of random berries as overworld items. I really hope that changes soon. Isn't that your bonus passive skill while you in particular are playing Barack? Oh, shut up, you perugly pincher. Let's see if the shop reset worked. Thanks, St. Kecleon, tonight. We won't have to keep closing the program and re-randomizing. Kind of wish the game would guarantee that the first two shops give you regular Pokeballs or something, but alas, we are stuck with the Boost Ball. It seems to have a lower capture rate, but I'll take anything at this point. Maybe check the berries to see if they can be sold for more than chump change. I doubt it, but hey, it's worth a scale shot. Not a bad idea, Donnie. Since this episode is already approaching the half hour mark, I'll attempt a capture on two wild beasts south and west of Viridian City. Then you can go for the others available next time. Roranoa Joro? It's Jojo Joa, Joero. Get it right. But yeah, sounds like a great idea to me. Call me Godzilla, because I think I might have had a fucking stroke and just died listening to that. You're definitely the right size to be a kaiju, all right. Since you've re-randomized the shop items, I think it's only fair you sell the Jold Amber Barak, right? Technically, we shouldn't have it since it's part of another item cycle. True, Donnie, but let's get our first encounter of this run first. A black police officer? Oh yeah, I can tell you've started manipulating the seeds already to obtain such an unrealistic reality, Barack. Nice try. I actually haven't, Joe. It seems like I've been nerfed this season because I haven't been able to tap into my future sight. Maybe it's a move I forgot. Plus, I'm used to the RNG of a regular Pokemon game, not something built in RPG Maker, you pansier pounder. Watch it, Obama. He's part Magnazone. He could whip out a spark or thundershock at any moment to scorch Fly Amigo from the skies. If moveset combinations work the way I think they do, he shouldn't even have an electric move yet. Surely he would have used one by now, don't you think? You're probably right, Barack. Even though the encounter is suspicious, I'll believe in your six skills to catch this thing in a boost ball. Well, let's just see how the premier ball goes first. Imprisoning it in an all-white sphere? I can't believe I'm siding with Joe on this one. What kind of racist metaphor is this? There is no metaphor. I'm trying to win in a kid's game. You know what? Just to annoy you two, I'm calling it good cop. I mean, that just kind of proves our point. Why do you feel the need to clarify whether he was good or evil Barack? Racism aside, I would say catching good cop was a good cop. Get it? All right, here comes the manipulator, you floppy for alligators. It looks like if I check out good cop's moves and navigate the menu just like so before moving him to the front of the party, that should be perfect, Amondo. Here he goes spouting that cringe jap jap again. I told you, it's not tentacool to be speaking that senpai suck me stuff anymore, Obamna. How is it going, toad school tip touchers? It is I, the king of curses and number one power scaler in all the universes. 
Since I was able to use Osama so much in the first season, I caught on to sensing his cursed energy, which has led us to finding him in this crucial moment. He shall prove worthy for my plans going forward. Happy to report your highness got a My legs are spread wide like a lens for you. Destroy me now, please. Wait, that's meant to be Osama? There's something off about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Did he absorb your brother or something, Barack? Don't you dare speak down on my Pokemon master like that. You ancient gear gold duck. Proceed with your six skills, my lord. I will do as I please, you loud dread load lover. I'll be the one giving you the attack order soon. Don't forget it. I shall give you boys this dark Osama to help you on your adventure. Make sure to keep him alive for me, won't you? I shall guard him with my life, Daddy! I bid you farewell, President Gojo Biden. Hey, you, Pikachu Pipe Pounder. The name's Wilma Flintstone now, you baba booey, ratatatouille, slimy, goomy piece of dino shit. Ryoiki Tenkai. He's slicing and dicing. Watch out, Donnie. Tear up my tyrant, Suki! Tamanegi Shredder. But baby, we're in Kanto. How did you get to Kanto? There's that sprite change I was talking about earlier. As much as I would love to shapeshift into a werewolf so Midna can sit on me all the time, let's leave this new tainted onion fairy sprite. A freaking Twilight Princess reference? This game kind of goaded already, I can't lie. So this is Dark Osama then, the evil version of Osama bin Laden, am I getting this right? Yup, as opposed to his real life counterpart who is just chaotic good. MFs love running they mouths until hero Osama pulls up on them and knocks the Bisharp breaks off of them. Hero and Dark Osama? What are they? Black and White Three's box legendaries? Sonic and Shadow looking different nowadays. I'm gonna unfuse Fly Amigo and Good Cop to see if I can get some custom sprite combination between the four of them. Might as well see how that process works now rather than later. What are we gonna do about their nicknames? Won't it get confusing if we have to think of a new name every time we fuse something? Maybe if the name still loosely fits we can reuse the pre-existing ones they had in their new forms. If Latios is fused with someone else, I would still call it Fly Amigo. If it resembles something that flies, maybe IDK. And if it transforms into something completely different like a reference, or we have a more suitable nickname, we change it to that instead? That sounds good. It'll take some trial and error, but I'm sure we will get the hang of the limitless options this game gives us. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> All right, bad cop, go ahead and get some more fusey item thingies so we can see exactly how this game's central mechanics work. Say, guys, I was thinking with these extra two pairs of DNA splicers. How about we get to fusing you two while we are at it, huh? Fusing? What are you talking about, Obamna? What's good, my Garganaka lickers? Now that I have adapted to Dark Osama's energy again, it's time to liven up this jump luff joint. With this treasure, I summon eight man handled, swore they die, a virgin silly diva, General Mahillary Clinton. Zeb, strike me, my lord. Smash my C dots and lick my Lotads. What just happened? <laughs> oh my God. That turned out so much better than expected. You are next, Wallace Wiper. All I ask is that you fuse me with someone under the age of 75. Please, I want to feel young again. Hey, my basculine buddies. I hope you're taking care of my bushy wushy. Is everything okay? I heard Donald using uproar into the void earlier. What's going on? Well, I'm panicking a little right now, and I was told to use this technique in a pinch. Let's see if that weird flamboyant purple alien was right. Change, now. That son of a cloister's coot. This didn't help in any way, shape, or form. Bush, you gotta use the technique and reverse us back, quick. Are you kidding? I get to bang Winona on the regular now without calling it cheating. It's one zero to the Bushmaster. Uh, I'll return back someday, partner. Okay, now where were we? Oh yes, fusing the silver-winged legendary. I'm thinking mixing him with Umbreon would be a solid choice. What are your thoughts, guys? Seriously, Barack, I just grew a set of Nido Queen tits and you think not to comment on it? Since we are in different bodies, we might as well act on our intrusive thoughts, as we won't be the ones suffering the consequences in the long run. Can I be your need oaking then, Donnie? You want to bone club me, Joe? I now understand every woman on the internet. I am so sorry. Can you two shut up about your haircuts for two seconds? I'm trying to decide on what type combination I want. Go with dark flying. The way I picture it is that Eveltal is better than Malamar, so go with his typing instead. We seriously aren't going to address the Q-fan in the room here? Nice, we got an um Gia. 
He kind of looks like XD001. You did not just drop the XD laughy face on us, Barack, you shadow spinnerack little shit. Seems like you can change the custom sprite here, too. If I still had a wiglet, it would have been blown off by now. God damn. So here is where we actually choose our ability in nature. The text box even reminds you of the descriptions and effects of both. The customization really does go crazy in this game. Color me impressed. Does that mean you're always impressed then, Barack? Shut your old ass up, Joe. So much for that younger body, by the way. Ha ha, ha ha. You somehow sound like less of a bitch now than in your own body, Donald. You wanna go the roast rounds like it's Pokan tournament? We can run the set, you tandem mouse toucher. My Weavile is still nutty. You best believe it. Although Electric Psychic Stab would be powerful, we only gain five resistances compared to Dragon Steel having nine resists and one immunity in poison. The best defense is the best offense after all. Did you just calculate that in your Voltorb shaped head? Voltorb head? Who's giving that ball on ball action? Don't get me wrong, the sprite work is amazing and I get that this guy is statistically built different for battling, but is having 10 type resistances worth how creepy this all-seeing drone is? Make that 11 with levitate. Now he's only weak to fighting. Nice. Barack being in love with a nuclear omnipotent looking robot? Can't say I'm even shocked like a thunder. Hold the freaking sex nav for a minute. I spent majority of the last series studying the game mechanics, move usage, abilities, and Pokemon stats. But now I have to learn off all the types and adapt on the fly to what new fusions are weak and strong against? BRB, just going to seismic toss myself out the window of Central Park Tower. Fighting moves don't affect dead-ass ghost types like yourself, Sleepy Joe. That's like the only move that breaks the rule. Donald, maybe you need to relearn move interactions. Riddle me this then, Barack man. If I pull out the sniper called Sobble and let off the bubble beam, can it one hit kill your obstagoon looking ass? The answer is no, Donald. Sobble cannot learn bubble beam, you idiot. You're shitting me right now. Its name is literally Sob and Bubble put together. Calm down, sexy Donald. This is no time to be irritating the Barack master. He's got a big fight coming up against the first gym leader, Barack Sr. As the saying goes, don't be afraid to fuck up your daddy, baby. I feel like that is horribly out of context. What are you going on about Joe? I'm ending this episode now. I ain't carrying your slow ass through the first gym, Mr. President. You can fight my dad or whatever next time. You still have a lot to prove. Well, thank Lilligant Lip Juice. I've still got more secret techniques in my arsenal. I guess this is toodaloo for now, boys. It's an honor to be back here. Regardless of how messed up this first episode has been, I can't lie in saying I'm excited to be going on another journey with you two. Hopefully, we make it through this one unscathed. Same here. Catch you later, boys. There's something off about those two. I can't put my finger on it. Thanks for watching this pilot episode, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, and ask your comment question down below for us to answer in the next video. If you have any suggestions to improve the production of this series, be sure to join the Discord down in the description to let Game Producer 6 know. You're all the greatest, and I hope you have a wonderful day.